All right, I am live. <laughs> hey, Lena. All right. All right, where to put this? Sorry, I had a little bit of technical difficulties. <laughs> All right, so I don't know where I put my um, sketchbook, so we're going to have to use some uh, Fabriano watercolor paper, and then I'll just glue it in my sketchbook. So hope you're all having a great day. Yeah, let's put it over there. So we're doing this cute little, <laughs> this cute little mummy. Let me just fix my lighting. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Let's see. There we go. And we'll brighten that up a little bit. I've got a leg, so. If you're gonna talk to me, just um, wait a few seconds because uh, you may not get what I'm doing. Isn't he cute? I thought so too. <laughs> so we're gonna draw this little guy. And if uh, you're not interested in drawing, I do have the traceable on my uh, Patreon or the YouTube membership and it starts at three dollars a month and you get to download all the past two years traceables and if you're interested in a few more videos showing how to paint things and draw things uh, that's our second level and you can uh, take a look at that by going to the patreon and the links are down below in the description or you can find it on my main page um, under about hi dorothy ruth good to see you stitching and lurking okay you're oh you're back to stitching are you that's good hope you're feeling good so these are very simple little drawings that I have here. Let me just bring you guys in a little bit. The cameras, I was uh, rushing around. My little pups are, aren't feeling good today. They have a cold, believe it or not. <laughs> they got the sniffles. And they're kind of laying around and sniveling and So they've been being babied even more than they already are, if that's possible. I'll just wet these before we start and get some going. So these are really easy. I'm going to be doing a bunch of different little cute ones. If, if, you, if this is the type of thing that you're interested in, and if not, let me know what you're interested in. Leave it in the comments below. Hey, Lori. Lurking root. Oh, yuck. I've had a few of those. Yep, just lurk away. Feel for you. So this is uh, going to be, oh, I guess I could fit it on here. And I think I want to keep it to about there because I want to cut this out and put it in my um, di uh, journal book. Where did I put my... I don't know where I put it. So like I said, if you don't want to draw, we do, or I do, 
have a, a uh, traceable for you, which is this here. And you'll get both. You'll get the um, reference and the uh, drawing, knitting and lurking. You guys are really busy. Getting ready for winter, Ruth? <laughs> Who knows what the weather will be like this year? All right, so we have this little guy here, and I'm going to just put a mark. This is how I start um, drawing. So we have, mm, his head is pretty big. And then the rest of him, well, I'll bring him down to about there, I guess. So as you can see, his head is about a little bigger than a third of his body. Um, very simple. You can't really go wrong with this one because <laughs> he's got a bunch of old rags uh, wrapped around him. So uh, whatever you do on that part is going to be good, right? Because they're broken and uh, tattered and ripped and whatever. So... I'm just going to follow the top part of the of the head here and he does have shape so you want to make sure you uh, put some shape in there and a little bit of line to where the some of these um, wrapped parts of of uh, the bandages that he has on him. And it kind of dips down here. And then his little his little head. He's not the prettiest little guy. I think I'm making him even bigger. Um, I'll bring him down like this, I guess. He might be a little, little off um, as far as this drawing is concerned, but that's okay. He'll do. He's a little made up character, so whatever size you have is fine. And then his wonky little eyeballs don't even have to be uh, completely round. They can be all kinds of uh, different colors, they can be different shapes. This guy's kind of <laughs> got a real problem. One eye is bigger than the other and he's had a hard day. The little nostrils here. And then his little eyes like that. <laughs> and then his mouth here uh, is open a little bit. So it's raised on the top part and then it kind of comes here and then it's not even even. He's got some wonkiness to it. And then I'll bring it down like this. He's got some teeth. His teeth are uh, starting to fall out so they're just hanging on. <laughs> He's got some problems in there. He needs some dentures. You can put in as many or as few as you want. And then his little neck here. Yeah, he's going to be a squatty little guy. And then more wraps around his uh, neck here. Like I said, this is a very easy one. It's pretty hard not to uh, do a good job. Because it is... Um, I'm going to make my guy a little squatty. So his... I'm going to make his legs and his... Uh, he's going to be a little bit shorter. 
than what I have here. So we'll bring that up like that. Um, then we'll just make some like that. And just kind of sketch out how far you want your arms. And then, like I said, you can also just use my tracing. And this little guy here. That's and then his little hands, his fingers. that. So he is a mummy, so he's not going to look healthy or anything, so. Got his little hands curved here. Got the pinky. The other one there. And then just basically put a bunch of lines crisscrossing and um, have some of the edges uneven, like that. Put lots of, of uh, creases in the fabric. And it's very easy, see? And you can even have a little uh, bits of Um, threads because it would be falling apart because he's, I don't know, a thousand years old. Like that. Uh, this body, just remember he ha has his shape, so your curves in the um, bandages he's got around him. It's going to be curved. So just remember that makes it a little. Now this isn't real by any means, but um, we want him to look a little bit realistic. And then his little his little legs here. I'm going to bring them down past a little bit, and then. Uh, Put his toes right here. And this one. This little foot. Goes like that. And his little big toes. This, let's bring the big toe out a little bit. And then just a few like that. And then we'll bring this up like this. And then again, um, some of these are going to be sticking over the side. So you want it not to be flush with the skin, just to make it look a little bit um, realistic as far as knowing that this is old bandages or material that's wrapped around them. And then you could also um, have it going a certain way to around his, his fingers would be wrapped also. So you can put some circle half a uh, little bit of a curve to them so it makes them look like bandages too. Um, let's put a little bit more in here. This little <laughs> 
and he'll have, you know, wrinkles and, well, not wrinkles, cracks in his skull, too. That's about it. <laughs> uh, mixed medium more. Uh, hey, B. Darlene. Been a while since I caught a live show. Awesome. Glad to see you're here. All right. So there's a the little mommy. Cute mommy. <laughs> I think he's cute. All right. So I'm going to put this just up in front of me here. And I'll bring my paints down. This is going to be, I'm going to put some um, probably sepia color ink on it too. But first I want to just uh, paint it and then we'll ink it later. So do you guys like inking before or after? Okay, let me bring you in a little bit more. Well, oh, that's out. Wrong way. There we go. I think you can see everything. Actually, I can put that right like that. Is that close enough for you? Is it too bright or should I lower that a bit? So you can see the outline. And is my sound good? Because I was having problems with my sound again. I like inking both ways. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I don't really have a preference for when to ink, but some people do. Um, now, if you were using, say, the, what do they call, elegant writers, this might be a really cool time to do that because then it would bleed and look even more um, antique-ish. It's all good, thanks. Okay, so since I'm using a um, watercolor paper this time, because I left my book upstairs, we're gonna probably use a raw sienna. So I have a raw sienna by Daniel Smith here. I'll just put it here. So it's a fair amount. And I'm going to add a little bit of Henza Yellow Medium. I just want a little bit of yellow in there. And then a fair amount of water. And I'm just going to go over the whole thing, basically. So wet into dry. And I'm using a number six um, silver black velvet. And I love these brushes because they have such a great point on the brush. And they stay and I've had these for quite a while. So they last quite a while. Okay. So I'm just going to put this on here. And then we'll add these all basically the same color. It's more or less um, all about shadows with this one and a little bit of um, highlight. Not much. There isn't a lot of highlight, maybe just in the center here and on the cuffs. So you could put a little bit of a, a lighter coat there if you want. Um, but we can, because I'm using watercolor paper, I can uh, take away paint with this one. So I'm not too worried if I go a bit dark, because I can always wipe it away since I'm using this watercolor paper. And if you go outside the lines, that's fine. Now, I didn't make the drawing lighter 
typically you would probably um, try to brush or take a, a kneaded eraser and take some of that away because of uh, it's going to show through and it's very difficult to move or erase once the uh, watercolor is on your your page. I'm actually going to go in here too. He doesn't really have any white on him. Even his eyeballs are kind of dark. And his teeth. So I'm going to pretty much do the whole thing in that one color. All right. So I'm going to take a paper towel. Let's see if we can uh, remove a little bit. So on the top here. I don't want to press or, or wipe it with my paper towel because then you end up um, destroying your paper surface and you'll get pilling. Well, this one doesn't come off very well, so that's fine. So let's start off with, um, I'm going to do his face first, I think. So I like this Indian yellow that I have here. And let's just put it over here. It's, it's kind of bright. I'm going to put a little bit of, of that um, raw sienna in there, but I, I really like that color. And it's fairly dark under his hat here. Or not hat, bandages, I guess. And kind of around his eyeball. He's going to have creases and like in here, be darker. Might have a little bit of a highlight just on the top of the bottom part of his um, jaw. <laughs> it's not lips anymore, it's a jaw. And then just a little, little bit in here where there'd be a shadow. This okay, and then long along his eyeball. And then I'm gonna take just some water on my brush, and I'm just gonna soften the edge in certain areas because I don't want that real hard line. This is fairly dark in here in his eyeball. And actually, mm, let's take this, soften that edge up a little bit. And we'll put other colors on here, so this isn't the only color I'm doing. It looks pretty good. Then I'm going to take some burnt sienna. And let's put... Yeah, I guess burnt sienna in there, in around the inside of his eyeballs, and we'll go in with a marker or not marker a pen. So I'm not worried about um, putting all the little creases and stuff. A lot of times I'll I'll wait till the pen is in, 
Sometimes I'll just use the pen for the finer details. Um, I'll put one coat on. We could come in and put another coat on, of maybe darker even yet, by adding a little bit of uh, raw umber or nice dark brown. Or even adding a little bit of uh, black to your mix. You could do that if you have black. Something cute for Halloween. These would make really cute cards. I'm going to put a little bit of this on here. mouth and maybe I can it's still wet but uh, let's put a little bit along as I, just along here where the hat is and maybe in some of the creases Now, you know me, I love to play with uh, colored pencil in a lot of my stuff. So I might, might, probably, um, finish this with colored pencil. It's just my thing. Let's see. I'm going to put some in the neck area here. It's fairly dark in here. And maybe right in here. Like that. A little bit in the right side of his head. Put some of this. A little bit of a shadow area. Nothing major though. It's kind of a soft shadow. Very loose and fun. Let's soften some of that edge up. I just want a suggesting but not a really hard line. So if you guys um, started doing Halloween stuff or is it too early for you? <laughs> this, I just find it's earlier and earlier every year for the stores to put stuff out. It's crazy. Yeah, he's cute. He has a little bit of a darker area there, maybe in here. A little bit softer along the edge here. Just along the eyeball would be a little bit. shadowed but I don't want a strong shadow right right away but just a little bit of that brown around the outer edge here now you want to keep some of that uh, yellow color on there um, we have already Christmas stuff as we don't to Halloween so much here in Switzerland. Oh, you're in Switzerland. Already Christmas stuff. Wow, that's early. Crazy. Yeah, I guess a lot of European countries don't really get into the Halloween as much as we do. 
in Canada and the US. So I'm just going to swish around here. Just put, uh, basically, I'm just following some of these lines where there would be a little bit of a shadowed area. Some a little more than others. We can always go back, put some more in, or take away whatever. So it'd be a little bit darker, I would think, in the um, underneath of his arm here. So we'll put a little bit extra in there. This is the inside of his his uh, hand. So it'll be a little bit of a shadow effect in there under his bandages there. And he's got his hands curled, so, or his fingers. So just add a little bit there. That's cute. I like cute stuff for holidays. What about you guys? Do you like the cute illustrative look of things? Or are you more into the realism? I kind of waffle back and forth. <laughs> I like cute. But I also like the realism of things. Okay, well, his little little feet will be darker. I don't think his feet are bandaged that much. So, and the I'm gonna get a lot of this um, burnt sienna, and I'm gonna add some uh, indigo to it, or Payne's gray will work too and make it really, really dark. And this is going to go mm, more or less in certain areas of his bandages here, um, showing some of his skin or whatever, I guess it wouldn't necessarily, well, it could be skin. He's petrified. <laughs> He's a mummy. So he wouldn't have the best uh, skin. A little bit on the gray side or black. a little bit more emphasis on the dark areas. So I'm going to put, uh, let's see, just around the eyeball here, a little bit more. Um, top especially, because that would be the, probably the darkest areas. I'm going to also go in with pen for this too. So let's make this a little bit darker. This would be a fair, fair amount of shaded um, areas up here. Like that. 
in any of these. You could um, also lightly spray your area if you want it softer looking. Just play. This is how you learn by doing. It's fun. It's just paper. You can always try again if it doesn't work out the way you wanted. Let's see, his mouth is really dark, so let's do that. And I'll try and leave some of these teeth. Paint around them. You could probably go um, back and put them back in with gouache if you want to do that. I might just do that. This is kind of... Yeah, let's do that. So I'm just going to paint over them. And then I'll go back in with some gouache and put them in. It's a little easier. I like easy. Hey, Zandra. Riri. So a little bit more of that blue and burnt sienna and we'll put this little eyeball in here I'm not even worried about the size or the shape because of this character is whatever it is it's going to be it just helps um, make the character cuter if it's wonky <sighs> I'm holding my breath I don't know why <laughs> all right let's put this eyeball in It's funny. A little bit more right in here. Like that. And let's darken the mouth a little bit more too. I want it, I want it fairly dark. So this is, a lot of it is um, indigo with a bit of raw sienna. Just gives you a nice dark, dark. Okay, a little bit of Let's put some more darks in here. So around a sleeve. Mm. And some of his skin is showing because his bandages are falling off. He's had a he's had a hard thousand years laying around. He only gets to get up and visit every Halloween, so tough life being a mummy. Yeah. 
All right. And I'm going to just do a real water down right in here. I think it needs to be darker. Some more in here. And I'm just basically following those lines of the pattern, the traceable. Like I said, if you don't want to draw it yourself, there is the traceable for you. And you can also uh, change the size of the traceable. So if you want it bigger or smaller, you can do that. Uh, and it depends on how much, you know, time you want to give to this. So you could put a lot, a lot of detail in this if you wanted to, but it's all in what you like doing. Maybe you just uh, like something very simple, not a whole lot of detail in it. That's fine too. I think I'm going to open some of this area to make it look like his skin is showing through bits. Says bandages aren't the best. They're starting to decay. I'm gonna give his feet a little bit of a dark, decayed look. And maybe a little bit in there. Be a little bit darker. Like that. <laughs> He's cute. And then a little bit of that uh, sienna color again. And let's see, let's put. I think I want these a little bit darker in some areas. So I'm just going over top of even the other color and you can still see through it. But it just adds a little bit of a different medium shade instead of just, you know, the, the light and the dark. Along his hat here, I think. And under here, put a little bit of different colors. And then I, I'm going to probably go in with um, colored pencil. I'm really, I love detail, as you know. But I like, I, I think I prefer doing it with colored pencil, to tell you the truth. I feel rushed when I do streams. Because I know not everyone likes to watch a stream for, you know, an hour and a half or, or more. And YouTube doesn't really care for you doing long streams either. Let's put a little bit more in there. Um, and... Me 
maybe a little bit more in the eye. Just darken a little bit. I want to leave some of the lighter area, but just darken a little bit. Hey, Joan. Oh, where is the traceable? It's on um, in the memberships. Um, I got all these little tatters he's unraveling <laughs> sometimes I feel like that and you could throw some of these little pieces unraveling he's cute Maybe a little bit more of the sienna, just in certain areas, just to darken here and there. Doesn't have to be the whole thing, but just darken some areas. I think he's cute. <laughs> All right, let's give him a dry. All right, now I think I'm gonna do some sepia color. I have some uh, Bombay Doc Martens Indian ink in, in just brown. I think that would look cool. So I have a very fine cartoonist uh, nib. And we'll just make some marks. Let me, let me shake that a little bit. It's been sitting around for a while. So with, with illustrative, um, type of work. I do like a lot of line work. I think it looks cute. Hmm. I wonder if this ink is okay. Some goopy stuff in it. We'll see. I haven't used it in a while. Let's see. Yep. All right, so we'll just pay attention more or less uh, to the line work. Now you can go in a little bit more precise or you can follow the lines that you already have. Sometimes the lines that are on there already from the graphite, your pencil line, can add to um, 
what you've already put in there. So it depends, you know, what you're looking for. So this pen will go uh, either thick or, well, not really thick, but it, it will go real fine line or it'll go into a little thick line. Which, and that's what I like. Remember, it's going to have little... It's unraveling. So he's going to have little uh, bits. <laughs> you can make it as, you can make all the folds you want and wrinkles and whatever. So he will have quite a few. So remember, he's quite old. And I could have done this in black also. I think it would look okay, but I think I like this it's, um, brown color. Too. Now he'll have little um, cracks in his skull. So don't forget to put those in. So you wouldn't have even a nice smooth. Socket. Just a bunch of lines around the center here. Just to give it a little bit texture, basically. Make it look aged and um, textured. Ah, I'll bring you guys in. So you can see what I'm doing here. I don't need to do that anymore. There. So he'll have He's got lots of cracks and and we'll use some uh, colored pencil in this too. Each step that you do will add to it. I like using the Indian ink because I know it's archival and it's not going to move if I decide to go back in and um, do some more watercolor. Sometimes I do. It's a little bit of a darker look in there. Oh, thanks, guys. All right, let's do his little nose here, his nostrils. There. And... I want that fairly dark in there. Not too worried about the shape of his eyeball. I 
I might go in with um, dark colored pencil maybe and just do a little few little dabs and whatnot if I want him looking let's put some I got little cracks in his skull here Poor guy. He's had a rough time of it. Have to go in and put his teeth back in. I like using the uh, dip pen, I must say. I've got quite a few colors in Indian ink. It's just basically adding wrinkles. <laughs> and I'll go in with a few uh, colored pencil to add a little really dark darks or possibly uh, highlights. Do you guys like using uh, pens or nibs? It's fun. And you can get nibs for really cheap, too. Um, I think this one is a speedball one where you got, yeah, it is. So you get six nibs and two handles. I think it was like $12. And then just a bottle of uh, ink. The only... The trick to these is to keep them clean. Um, so once you're done, don't let the nib dry out with ink on it. Give it a, a splash of water and wipe it. And uh, you're probably good to go then. 
I like the nib because you can get uh, variance in uh, thickness of line. So that's fun. I have a set, but haven't tried them out yet. Pins, yes, not nibs. Um, yes, they. Um, I prefer the glass pen. I don't like the sound of the metal. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I get it. I don't mind the sound. Kind of like it actually. I don't know why. Oh, the glass. So the glass nibs. Can you get a really, really fine point one? I've never uh, used a glass nib before. I've seen them, but I haven't, I've never uh, bought one. You can put in as many um, dark areas or highlights or whatever. So we got some dark areas here where the He's kind of bent over because they can't really walk straight. They're kind of seizing up. I like using them though, they're really cool. Kind of um, give expression to your drawings. Let's put his little feet in. Big toe. Let's put a nail on. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe he's got six toes. Maybe he's an alien. <laughs> he was one of the Alien Kings. Do you ever see the, the uh, I've seen quite a few shows on um, where they look at the sand scripts and stuff like that and they say and now they're saying that it looks like um, they were hiding their the size of their skull. <laughs> they could have been aliens. Yep. You never know. What do you guys think? I think anything's possible these days. It's a crazy world. Crazy, crazy. I'm going to put some. Maybe he has a. Some 
bandages around there. Like that. You can bring as much or as little as you want in here. Lighter, darker. I it's kind of addictive actually doing this. It's fun. Um, these don't work that bad actually on the watercolor paper, which surprises me because I wasn't sure how that would work, but it's not bad. At, it's coming off pretty good. It's not skipping at all, so that's good. Okay, some. And then it's got lots of bandages. And then his fingers. Inside of his hand there. Looks pretty good. Uh, I want to give some little um splits in his teeth here, or his jawline. He wouldn't have a gotta look real. Cool, cool. Uh, do I got all the edges? I think I do. All right, I'm gonna swish it in some water. it off as best as I can. Get as much of that ink off. You don't want it drying on your... And I'm going to give that a dry now. like fine yeah I, I have a ton of fine line pens yeah I do use those mostly but I really am enjoying this type um, surprisingly uh, I think I like them more than the fine liners if you get a good nib you have to have a really good nib uh, let's see I'm just looking for my eraser Where did I put it? Better put that on so before I end up spilling it. There it is. Okay, I have my um, kneaded eraser here. And what I'm going to do is uh, take some of the pencil lines off along the edges mostly because the ones that are in there are all covered 
now with paint so pretty sure you're not going to get them off but just by uh, going along the edge taking off those lines kind of cleans it up a little bit I find any of them that are left not gonna take any of those other ones off I don't think all right I think that's good a little guy <laughs> all right let's see what we can do with the So uh, white here, and now I can put in some um, highlights. So it doesn't have to be a lot, but in some areas you might have a little bit of a highlight there. Um, if you want to accent some of the folds. Maybe there would be a little bit of a, he would have a little bit more light along there, his mouth. And maybe on the top of his lip right here, we'll put a little bit. And then some of the folds here, we can, we can uh, lighten those up a little bit. Let's see where it would be catching the light, basically. So any of these ones that are kind of sticking up a little bit, you could highlight some of them. Maybe the top of his knuckles. Top of his, his hand, maybe on his belly a little bit. Just follow the, the way the bandages are. It just helps with the uh, shadows and highlights when you do this. That won't cover the, it up totally, but it will. Um, let's get a yellow or a gold. Let's see. Probably. Let's see what this does. Nope, that's the wrong one. No, nope, I won't. Yeah, maybe. No, nope, I won't. A little bit lighter. Um, gold. Let's see, it's this one. I'm just going to sharpen. want a little bit lighter in here here and there it's not really doing let's try the white you can always go back over that just want to show a little bit and then a dark. 
Uh, real dark, maybe. What's this one? Warm gray. Let's see what this does. That's not bad. Yeah. All right. And in here would be dark by his shoulder. Just to show his neck off a little bit more. Pretty dark in here, I think. Like that. That. Oh, yeah, I wanted to put his teeth in. He needs teeth. This will help with um, making it look a little older. And I'm because I'm working on um, watercolor paper. It's going to go on a little bit on the grainy side, but that's okay for this one because it makes it look a little more textured. So that's fine. He's cute. Okay, let's put, I gotta put his little um, Let's see, I need some gouache. Wait. All right. A little bit of gouache. Got to put his teeth in. <laughs> and they'll be kind of yellowy looking. Uh... Let's put a little bit of umber, or not umber, um, yellow ochre in there. So I, I like just using plain white gouache, and then if I need to color it a certain color, then I just use my watercolors. Let's see if this is thick enough. Yeah, there. Well, <laughs> you go into the um, jawbone a little bit. Yeah. 
You can make them all different uh, sizes too. You don't have to have them all the same. And I think I want a little bit. Mm. No, that's fine. Oh. oh. Okay. Why is that? Oh, darn. I forgot to plug my computer in. Just hold on, guys. So we'll let that dry and then we'll highlight um, a little bit. Maybe put some more um, colors around. Um, he would look great with my zombie. Girl. <laughs> you get a zombie girl. They're cute. Now you could use a uh, Posca marker if you want to put some really bright highlights on. Um, I'm going to make like that. And we'll highlight some of the bottom, maybe. Oop. Bit of white in the top part here. I might just do a little bit of highlighting on there. Let's see. Posca. Okay. Just put some highlights on his hands here, maybe. on the top. Not quite dry yet. Okay, we'll let that sit. What else? Mm, let's sharpen this. What is this again? Gray. And we'll do around the teeth. So it looks like it's still in his jaw, or not jaw. <laughs> yeah. Could even have cracks in it. <laughs> Here we go. He's got dental problems. That's cute. A little bit darker in here, maybe. Mm. 
And then here, let's make it look a little more like they're sunken into his head. Too much candy, yeah, I think so. Okay, so then we can just put a little highlight on them. Not much, just a little. Little something, just so that they show up a little bit. Like that. <laughs> Does he need a, I don't know, should he have a highlight? What do you think? Should he have a highlight in his eye? A twinkle in his eye? Or not? I think that needs to be a little darker in there, I think. Much. Oh, I probably did that. What do you think? Should he have a twinkle? Uh, try it if you don't like it. Cover up. Yeah, that's true. Okay. We will try it. I'll... I guess I should use gouache then. It's easier cover up. A little bit. And let's we'll see. I guess that could be basically. I think a nice twinkle would make him look cheeky. <laughs> yeah, it would. A little bit of a <laughs> and maybe let's do a little bit of a highlight in here. Just look, looks, makes it look like it's uh, raised, a raised area a little bit. And maybe on the bottom lip here a little bit. Watered down maybe. You can always go back and uh, add some of the maybe. Yeah. 
Now I already have um, colored pencil, but you can see that it um, resists. So that's kind of cool. Maybe in here, just a bit. And I think I need a little bit of ground. That he's standing on. Gotta give him something to stand on. So he's not floating. It's pretty good. I don't mind the little glint in his eye. Um, I think he's got enough uh, little strings hanging off. <laughs> I think he's cute. I like him. I think he's cute. What do you guys think? I think he's a keeper. <laughs> this is what I do normally. Is all. I'll uh, get done and then I'll look at it for a while and then tinker with it. It's just the way I Let's see. That's cute. You can play with it and, you know, really go to town in the shading area of things if you want to really play with the shadows and highlights. You can just really make this into something really, really highly detailed. That's totally up to you on uh, how much detail you want to add to them. I think for a quick one, he's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, Lena. Isn't he cute? I think he's cute. <laughs> I like the proportions. They're funny. A little short legs. What's his name? What are you going to name him? He needs a name.
There we go. I'm going to put a little bit of dark under his toes here. Got a name for him? Carl the mummy. Hey, <laughs> Carl. <sighs> Morty. <laughs> to give it a try and uh, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see your yours, how they turn out. You can change all kinds of stuff on these guys too. You don't have to stick to this. You can change his expression. You can all kinds of stuff. But try it. It's 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 a fun one. And uh, like I said, the traceable, if you don't want to draw it, then you can always get the traceable that's on my uh, Patreon and the first level, Artistic Seedlings. And uh, draw them up. All right, I think he's done. Today is the 9th, 1923. Great. Thanks, guys. Boris. There's a good one. Boris. Yeah. I like Boris. All right. I'll let you guys go, and you have a fantastic weekend. Oh, no, it's Tuesday. Oh, I've lost all account of time. <laughs> so busy so uh, join me on uh, Thursday we Lena and I are well I'm starting my um, just um, putting out my videos for my paint a painting a day starting on Thursday so I hope you uh, will come back and see what I've been doing and um, we will, or I will be uh, posting also the reference photos for you to try yourself. And they will be found on my um, memberships here on YouTube or on Patreon. All right. And check out Lena for her posts coming up too for the a painting a day. And uh, she's in chat right now, Miss Linux 2010 and uh, see what she's been up to. She's got some cool stuff too. All right, well, I'll let you guys go and you have a fantastic week and we'll see you on Thursday. Bye for now.